And uh, Wyatt Russell is set to join us. He comes from uh, Hollywood royalty. His dad, uh, the great actor, Kurt Russell, and his mom is uh, Goldie Hawn. And uh, Wyatt joins us. Do you, do you feel like a superhero? <laughs> you tell me, do I look like a superhero? <laughs> no, you, no, you don't. <laughs> In disguise. Like, this, is, this is my this is my lighting setup, Dan. This is my ring light. Wow, it's very professional. Well. Very yeah. professional. I'm the only person to ever actually have Marvel take money from me after the movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how did this happen, Wyatt? You're you're Captain America. Yeah, it, it was. I, I don't know. I, I they called and said like, "Hey, come in and read for a, sh a, a person," and then I, for like a Marvel character, they don't tell you who you're going to read for, and then you do it, and they're like, "Great, you're the guy," and then and then it's like, oh, "Thank you. Who's the guy? <laughs> <laughs> who am I gonna Who am I gonna play?" And then they tell you, and first it was like, well, "I don't know," you know. It's like, well, Chris Evans is the man, and he did the. He, I don't want to do that. They're like, oh, no, it's not really that. And they explained to me what the character was. And so um, after they explained it, I was like, OK, that could be that could be pretty cool. But how do you act like a superhero in the audition? Uh, I, I, I did not because they do a good job of making like it's not you're not a suit. They, it would be amazing if they gave you a suit and said, OK, now, <laughs> now do your best to fly around the room. And and uh, that would be incredible, but they just they just give you like a scene that to to, to act in, and then they decide whether or not you're going to be a superhero or not. Also, oh, just regular dialogue. Yeah, it's just regular dialogue. I like it, it's not. It's really nothing. There was no special circumstance to how they decide whether who is going to be the guy or not. But how how much did you know about what Chris Evans had done as Captain America? I didn't know it. Other than what I, other than what not living under a rock, you know, yeah. um, that like, you know, it's huge and everybody loves it. And, and the interesting thing that I've said a lot, and I think maybe some people can relate is I, I didn't grow up loving comic books. My superheroes were athletes. It was like Joe Sackick and Peter Forsberg and Sergey Fedorov and March Amador. They were like superheroes, you know, that those were my superheroes. Bo Jackson was a superhero. Deion Sanders was a superhero. And so I didn't ever, I didn't connect to comic books in any way and, you know, say what you want about it, but I just did not. And so when it came around to doing it, I only knew Marvel from the movies. I, I didn't know them from the comics that much. I, you know, they were, they were always just funny guys in tights and shields. And then when I saw the movies, it was like, oh, they're doing a great job of making it, you know, cool and, and more relatable. So I just didn't know that much about it. And and then you Google stuff and it's like, don't do that because you'll go down a rabbit hole. You'll never come out of <laughs> But we liken it to taking over for Tom Brady. Like you're, you're, you're taking over for Chris Evans. You're taking over for Tom Brady. No pressure yeah, whatsoever. Right. And, right? It, and, and I feel, I feel terrible for whoever has to take over for Tom Brady. You know, it's like, Oh my God, good luck. You're going to fail. And, and so that's was part of the, part of the trepidation and then when they told me what the character was it was like oh okay that's interesting there's an interesting aspect that like, oh, i can't give away that um you know is it does you do liken it to that he created the mcu or helped it with all those guys and and so when you're coming in you're going well, i hope i can just do the thing that i do and then but you guys know me from even coming in last time. It's like, I'm the last person in the world who thought I would be doing this. This is not what I thought I'd be doing, but here I am. But when did you embrace acting? I mean, obviously with your parents, you know, being famous, but at what point, because you were, you were a hockey player, did you all of a sudden go, okay, I'll give in, I'll be an actor now? Um, when I basically when I got basically when I got hurt to be honest is I had done little stuff for friends here and there I, I had done a movie in an eight, a, a small part of the movie and an agent my agent my current agent saw it and said is that guy represented by anybody he called me this is when I was playing hockey in Germany and he said are you do you want representation do you want to be in mo movies and I was like well that's not what I do really but maybe commercials he was like, that's not that's not what I do but okay, nice to meet you. See you later. Take, have a nice life. And then when I got hurt, 
uh, it was like, well, what am I going to do? Am I going to coach or am I going to, what, what am I going to do? So I spent a few months off and then came back and called him and said, look, I might want to want to do this, but um, I'll give it a shot. And I guess when it really happened, I was 20 years old. I got hurt. I, they thought I broke my neck. It was a disastrous story. I'm in a hospital for, for overnight. And they took a, you know, scan of my neck. It was a bad, bad night. And, um, and during that night, to be honest, it was like, well, maybe I won't play hockey forever. It was that first sort of, you know, every athlete, I think when they get real hurt for the first time, you have that thought of, oh, um, this could be over like that. It, it, you know, it's not, it's not forever. So that was when I first sort of started entering my mind was, I can remember the night. <laughs> Who is more apt to give you advice, your mom or your dad on acting? Uh, no one gave me ad advice, you know, it's like, no one gave me, a, it, it, it's, it's really difficult to give advice for acting. I feel like, because it's so subjective. It's not like a, it's not, it's, if your dad was Peyton Manning and you're a quarterback, right. And that's kind of a get in certain ways, what it's like, you, you're not, it's very difficult to give that child some form of like, here's how I did it because you're different. You're a different person. You're not going to give the, the, you're not going to give the same advice to everybody and everybody's different. So the advice was always pretty easy. It was like, if you think you can be good in a movie and you think that you can make the movie better, then do it. It's just like a sports team and then, then, then make, make the team better. If you can't, then don't do it. You know, don't bring the, don't bring the team down. He's uh, Wyatt Russell. He plays John Walker, the newly christened Captain America. It's Marvel and Disney's The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I got all that right, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, you're telling that. Uh, how good do you think your dad was in Miracle? He, uh, how good do I think my dad was in Miracle? I, 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 think he, I think he should have been nominated for an Academy Award. It, when, when you have the grandkids of it's a Disney movie and it's all that. So it's not going to get that kind of thing. But if, if you have the grandkids of her Brooks saying, look, granddad on the screen, Ooh. you've done something right. And, and he, and he had said before, he said before that he real his father died. My grandfather died while he was filming that movie. And to give you an idea of what my dad, like what my dad's like and sort of what, you know, we're, like uh when he he passed away it was like oh we're we gonna shut down filming and, and my dad was like no i'm gonna you know i'm gonna give me five minutes i'm gonna skate around and we're gonna continue doing it because that's what we do we go to work when you work and uh and so he realized in that moment that he's like wow i'm playing my grant i'm playing my father and he was playing as he, he was playing his dad so he connected to herb on many different levels and when i watch that movie it's I I look at it as one of the better, you know, biopic performances I've seen in a while. Did you want a cameo in uh, that movie? Did you ask for one since it was a hockey movie? No, I, what they they wanted me to, and I because I was playing hockey in Vancouver, so there was times where they were like, "Why don't you come out and and do some of this stuff?" And I was like, "It was the last thing in the world you wanted to do." Is we had a couple of players leave the team to go be in the movie because they could make money and. And it was, it was like, then they cut, then they came back and wanted to play. And it was like, sorry, you're, you're, you're out. What you, <laughs> you made your choice, dude. <laughs> you, you, you decided to be an actor instead of a hockey player. Yeah. Yeah. Um, McLovin has a question for you because he said, look, I'm going to be able to speak to Wyatt on a different level than you will. Okay. Uh, so he's our Marvel guy. And yeah. he said that he could nerd out with you. So McLovin, yeah. your question for Wyatt. No, no, no. I'm, You're going to know so much more than me. It's going to be, it's not going to be a fun conversation. Okay. Yeah. I know <laughs> what you're doing here. Don't, don't play it down. Okay. Are you currently, or have you ever been a member of Hydra? I'm talking about your character here. Well, these are all questions that, first of all, I, I, I don't know. And second, it's easier for me to not know to say, I don't know, because I can't say it anyway. Or else I knew the, you could two say men, The two men outside my window will drag me off and you'll never see me again. What, what does that mean, McLovin? Oh, see, that's the thing. Why? I don't work with Marvel guys. So Hydra is this criminal organization that has been against Captain America for many, many, many years. Mm. And they sort of are looming in the background of the first two episodes, which are awesome, by the way. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's everyone says it says it's been great. I haven't seen him. I'm like to find it impossible to watch myself in that suit. So I, I don't I haven't watched it. But I take it from other people's I take it for from other people's mouths that they're liking it. So that's yeah, but good. get get I, used to this, Wyatt. This is what you're gonna face when you go out for coffee and then you know the paparazzi is gonna be there at Starbucks when you come out. No one knows who I am. It's fantastic. No one. It's unbelievable. They, I, I think that when I walk around and I look like this, no one has any clue. It looks like you're trying to be Ryan Fitzpatrick, the uh, quarterback. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. By the way, like I'd much rather be mistaken for Ryan Fitzpatrick than for Captain America. Have, um, have you worn the outfit home for your wife? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I'm. I'm sure she would maybe ask for a divorce if I wore wore at home. She, my my the quest. There'd be too many questions to answer as to why I was doing it. I have a legitimate question okay. for you guys. Okay. So, I I want to know right. how to the penny. How much was the Fritzy cone of shame? How much did it cost to install that thing? Because it has a beautiful rate of descent. When it goes, when you it mean, goes down. you mean this <laughs> curtain that's going down on Fritzy right now? Are you really going to do this to me? Now? Yeah. Yes. I can't. You I can't I don't like see it, but it just seems like it must have been like twelve grand. <laughs> it must have been something expensive. I truly don't know how much it cost. I do know that the guy who was in installing it couldn't understand why I wanted it. And I just said, this is what I want. It's a cone of silence. And I think the velvet was the expensive part of this, all of the fabric that I made for Fritzy's cone of silence. But, but thank you for, of all the questions you could ask, Wyatt, thank you for, uh, for asking that question. It's, it's great to talk to you. And uh, good luck with the baby and the family. Thank you so much. Take care, guys. That's uh, Wyatt Russell.